Hello colleagues. Uh, we have been asked one more time about their uh, precise distances between the beacons and uh, where these distances are measured from. So even though we believe we have covered this uh, topic already, uh, it's worth addressing it again. Uh, I will be talking about a couple of uh, points. Now, first of all, different types of uh, beacons, because it, it really, you know, the answer, it depends on type of the beacons that you have. Then uh, TX versus RX, so uh, transmitting ultrasound and receiving ultrasound. The point is not exactly the same. And uh, some of the beacons support automatic table of distance building. So you don't have to measure the distance. You can simply ask the system to do it automatically for you and it will be done. So let's uh, do it one by one. Now, first of all, the question is correct. And when we are talking about two centimeter precision, it's very important to measure from a particular point. Uh, what is the center of the beacon? From where is two centimeter? Or from where is the their, their exact central point of the beacon? You want to measure the, like, uh, the, direct, uh, the, the distance to, to another station in beacon? Or if uh, we are talking about the system in general, from where is the system measuring the location from station in beacon to the mobile beacon? So the question is, uh, not so complex, but nevertheless, uh, you know, requires clear understanding. First, different types of beacons. That's, that's correct, because for different types of beacons, the central point is different. Uh, let's take their, the most typical beacon uh, hardware version 4.9. In beacon hardware version 4.9, you have five transducers. They are end receiving and transmitting. So uh, this is why effectively this is like a star which like your sun. Uh, when you are close to the sun, it's not a point anymore. On the large distance, it's point and it doesn't matter. Uh, but when you're close, it does matter that uh, the exact point is a bit spread. It's not a single point, it's uh, somewhere in the middle. But for the simplicity, uh, when you have to measure something, the central is the center of Rx4, about one centimeter below the top. That's a recommended, a single point when you want uh, to measure the location of a beacon hardware version 4.9. If you want to, to go a bit deeper, then you need to understand then if you have a beacon and the beacon is covering this territory, then what I just mentioned, this central point would be pretty much correct. But at the same time, when the system builds the table of distances, then this beacon or this sensor wouldn't work when the distance is measured towards uh, the station beacon in that direction this sensor will be used. So it means that there is automatically one centimeter error if you assume this is the center, but in fact the system will measure the distance from this point if you are using uh, the embedded functionality of Beacon Hardware version 4.9, possibility to self-build the table of distances. So it means that for the stationary beacons, that direction, this will be used. But for the station and beacon neighboring from that direction, this will be used. And, uh, and you see there is already quite quite a distance between them. This why this is kind of okay in the middle, but not necessarily it's a precise answer in all conditions. Remember this, keep uh, this in mind when you need to calculate something precisely and maybe even adjust manually by one centimeter to add or to subtract when required. But for Beacon Hardware version 4.9, as a rule of thumb, uh, the center uh, one centimeter below the top would be their most uh, safe choice 
for the center of the beacon. This is for beacon hardware version 4.9. For uh, super beacons, the story is slightly different. Yes, super beacon have the same structure in terms of transmitting ultrasound uh, transducers, uh, but for receiving, this is the receiving point. Uh, super beacon is not receiving by these ultrasonic sensors. Uh, the, the beacon is receiving by this point. And this point is very precise and very exact. But at the same time, as you see, there is a shift. And it's answering the second question or the se second point already. Uh, the center for the transmission would be still one centimeter below of this Rx4 in general. All those comments that I gave uh, for self-building are still valid. But that's for when the beacon is transmitting ultrasound. When beacon is receiving, there's no ambiguity. And the point is very precise and very simple. It's center of the microphone. Mm, the same. So one millimeter less below the stop in the middle. So if you want to be super precise, and you know that this beacon is used for receiving, then your center is known. For transmission, the same rule as I applied uh, for beacons hardware version 4.9. For industrial super beacons, the logic is the same. So TX is spread a bit more than in this case, but it's spread and RX is the microphone. So you need to understand whether you are asking about the transmission or uh, reception and uh, in which mode the, the beacon will be operating. And if necessarily, you would be able to manually adjust the distances by adding or subtracting the, the, the measured distances. Uh, but remember that like in regular super beacons and in industrial super beacons, uh, receiving point and transmitting points are kind of shifted slightly and slightly different. For industrial RX, uh, dance is also very straightforward and very simple. It's one millimeter below the surface of, uh, of the center of the receiving microphone. So use this point when you are calculating uh, the, uh, the precise position and the precise distance between the beacons. Um, then about building automatically versus not automatically. Some of the beacons, like for uh, beacons uh, uh, version 4.9, are capable to measure the distances automatically. So you don't have to measure it manually at all. You can basically put those beacons on the walls, ask the system to talk and build the system, and in five, 10 seconds, the table of distance would be populated uh, by the distance between the station and the beacons. Uh, it works perfectly well in, in good conditions. When the conditions are not good, for example, distances are large and uh, not optimal placement of the beacons, uh, you can choose uh, between uh, manual or taking partial data. For example, uh, the beacon e from beacon one to beacon two and from beacon two from beacon one is measured. The distance is measured and the table is populated, but their distances do not match for whatever reason. As mentioned, because of propagation, because of distances, because of something. Uh, but you can estimate which one is right because, for example, if this is 10 and another one is 20 and you know that it's certainly not 10, then 20 is the right calculation. Use it and you can apply out of this pair only one distance to, to the pair. So you're still not using manual, but you apply one of the measured distance to the pair because usually the system is calculating from 1 to 2, from 2 to 1. If they are matching very, very close, then their table of distance is wide automatically. And it's a confirmation for you that the system measures the distances successfully and you can just take what is measured. 
So that's the best way and uh, the most recommended way. But sometimes when you have a complex and distances and noisy environment, you may have only one uh, distance out of two, use it. Still you can use it. If you cannot measure the distance uh, automatically for whatever reason, because of distance, because of noise, because of something, use the manual calculations from the points I already mentioned. So once again, for Beacon's hardware version 4.9, it's possible to use automatic uh, building the table of distance and automatic positioning uh, in non-inverse architecture. For super beacons, it's possible to build the same in inverse architecture, non-inverse architecture, and multi-frequency non-inverse architecture, which is why you know super beacons are easier to operate in many cases. Now I already mentioned in the previous, in some of the previous videos, remember that uh, the microphones they have nearly 180 degrees uh, diagram in uh, in this direction, in vertical direction, uh, but not 180. So this is why, particularly when you have a large distance and you place on the same wall or on the same uh, on the same wall beacons then on the large distance these microphones may not hear well uh, those beacons we already mentioned this in this case you would need to measure like this towards that beacon and to like this towards that beacon and then put it or to use manually as uh, that's that's always an option so um, hopefully this explanation will give even more details about the precise positioning of the dots. And uh, if still not clear, send us a mail, ask questions. We'll be happy to answer them one more time. Thank you.